Hello everybody, it's Walk Talk 21 here, and this is the moment that you all have been waiting for. Like I said, I've been busy with a lot of these, but it is time to resume the MLB time capsule. Now, before we get started, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, and no, there were some people who thought I gave up on this series. I didn't. I've just been super, super busy. So that's why I literally haven't made one of these in many, many months. I've just been super bu busy with a lot of things. But we are going to get back in the swing of things. We're going to do a few of these now. I'm probably going to do at least two or three tonight. And then after that, we'll see uh, when I upload the next one. But I'm tired here right now. I had a long day. But uh, we're going to get through this, don't worry. So, 1915 World Series. In this corner, representing the city of Boston, led by manager Bill Kerrigan with a record of 101 and 50. The Boston... Red Sox, yay, and in this corner, led by manager Pat Moran from the city of Philadelphia, not the Philadelphia Athletics, the Philadelphia Phillies. This World Series also featured for the Red Sox, Harry Hooper, who Pinnock, Babe Ruth, that's right folks, Babe Ruth was in this World Series in 1915, that's right, he was here long before he played for the Yankees, Babe Ruth was a Red Sox, that's right folks, hard to believe. And Tris Speaker, oh man, my man Tris Speaker's back. He's back in the World Series, hey! And for the um, Phillies, Grover Cleveland Alexander. Now, don't be confused with President Glo Grover Cleveland, because this was not him, but that would be pretty neat if Grover Cleveland was actually pitching, but he's not. This is uh, Grover Cleveland Alexander. Um, anyway, 1915. Woodrow Wilson was president. World War One was raging on. And the Chicago Cubs, wait for it, are not World Series champions. So, folks, I got to say here, 1915 was another snooze fest of a World Series. That's right, folks. This World Series was one of the most boring, one of the most uninteresting World Series that I have ever seen. And here's why. Okay, let's take a look here at my notes. So, Red Sox won the series 4-1. But Philadelphia wasn't even close. In fact, the Red Sox pitching was so strong on here. I'm actually reading something from my notes. Red Sox pitching was so strong in 1915 that Babe Ruth was not used and only made a single pitch hitting appearance. That's right, folks. Before he transitioned into being a batter and the former home run king that we know today, Babe Ruth was actually a pitcher. When he was with the Red Sox, he was a pitcher. Um, now, the Red Sox for the series did not play in Fenway Park. They actually played in a Braves field, which at the time was where the Boston Braves played when they were in Boston before they moved to Milwaukee and then before they went on to become the Atlanta Braves. Um, the uh, Phillies had the coin, uh, Phillies won the coin toss, so they chose to have the first two games of the series in Philadelphia, which was a mistake because, as you'll see, the Phillies ended up getting blown out because they're, they're pitching and they're hitting. I don't know what they were doing. Um, I guess Grover Cleveland Alexander and uh, Dave Bancroft d didn't bother showing up that day. Uh, hey, Phillies, you do know that this is the World Series, right? This is not the regular season. But anyway, one of the controversies in this series was surrounding the allocation of tickets. Uh, to the Red Sox fan club, and let's read here, so if I look away at the screen, I apologize. Um, each visiting team was allocated 200 tickets, but the Red Sox requested 400 on behalf of their supporters. 
And the problem with that was was that the Phillies were against that because basically the Red Sox were trying to stack fans into the Baku Bowl, which is where the Phillies played, because William F. Baku owned the team at the time, and he was trying to make sure there was more Red Sox in there than there was Philly fans. That way the Red Sox could cheer for their team. Um, and it's kind of funny, though, too. Um, this was the... F- Woodrow Wilson became the first president to attend a game. He actually attended... Uh, game two in Philadelphia and threw out the first pitch. So good job, Woodrow. Although if you were expecting the Phillies to win, Woodrow, you uh, you were sadly disappointed. Um, you know, the Phillies were not able to win another postseason game after this until 1977, and they didn't win another World Series game until 1980. 65 years. That's right, folks. It took them 65 years to get back to this point. That's quite a long time, Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, but we'll see you again in uh, 1950. And uh, Philadelphia, if you think that this World Series is bad, you just wait till we get to 1950 when you got to play that team. You know exactly what team I'm talking about because you get beat once again. Um, but like I said, though, this was an extremely boring World Series. There's not too much here to talk about. Um, well, the games were relatively close. All of them were actually decided by the two runs or one run. But the problem was was that the Phillies were facing a team that couldn't be beat, that had strong pitching, strong hitting. Um, the Red Sox at year had won 101 games and only lost 50, and the Phillies had won 92 or won 90 games and lost 62. Now, they were seven games ahead, and the Red Sox were only two and a half games ahead. But... The other teams that they played were so bad that it didn't matter. Um, the Red Sox just were not. They just were not good, and um, you know. So, folks, um, the Red Sox win yet another World Series to add to the crown, and you know, I'm starting to see a dynasty here in Boston, and uh, you know. I don't really have too much more to say because, again, boring World Series. Nothing happened. It was a snooze fest. You could probably have slept through it. There was no videos of it, so can't show you anything. But just from what I'm reading here, it seemed boring. Now, folks, that was 1915. The next time we meet... Oh, no. Oh, no. Red Sox are back. That's right, folks. Boston's back. And you know who they're playing? They're playing that team from New York. No, not the Yankees. No. No, you know who they're playing? The Brooklyn Dodgers. That's right, folks. Brooklyn's first appearance in the World Series against the Red Sox. I wonder how this is going to go. Could it be possible that the Brooklyn Dodgers win their first World Series? Could it be? No, it doesn't happen. But I'll leave you with that for another day. Be sure to like and subscribe for to Walk Talk 21 for great videos coming down the line. Um, like I said, I haven't done a video in a while, so excuse me if I made some mistakes in this one. But that was the 1915 World Series for you. Next time will be 1916. And I hope to see you all again in another episode of the MLB Time Capsule. Till then, take care. Everybody have a great night. And there will be other videos coming out here too. Game reviews of other games that I have. And a few more topics too. And if anybody has any requests of videos they want me to make, drop me a comment and I'll see if I'll be able to do it. Thank you.